a lot of times when I've been working with students, I've found that they can't seem to get the bevel on their number 80 cabinet scraper dead on the 45 degrees that helps establish a really good turned edge for this particular scraper. So let's go ahead and take this one out and I'll show you what I did to resolve it. I made one of these. This is a honing guide. It's got a, a, an angle cut in here dead on 45 degrees. It's got a little turn button under here that locks this in place so that when you clamp this in the vise with the piece of steel in, with the plate in, it doesn't slip. So I'm going to make one for you, then you'll see exactly how it's done. I've got a piece of wood, it's three quarters thick, two and three quarters wide, and I think it's uh, nine and a half inches long. So I'm just going to eyeball a center line. There's my center line here. And then I'm going to come either side of that about a millimeter and a half, because that's just going to center the saw in this cut. So I'm going to be making this, I'm going to put a 45 degree bevel on here and I'm going to go down six inches from the end so I'm going to go into here there and that leaves enough body of wood to resist splitting when I actually do put the blade in and I clamp it in the vise. 45 degrees on here just as a, a ballpark guide this is just helping me to see where I want this to go and then just with a handsaw, and you might need to check that the handsaw kerf is similar sized to the plate steel that's going in there, but I wouldn't obsess over it because when you put it in the vise, it does take up the slack. I've got a block of wood, I've already cut this, so I'm ready. This I'm going to screw on here, somewhere near the end. So I'm going to drill a hole to receive the shank of the screw here, so that it comes in the middle of this midsection and in the middle of the block that's going to turn. I don't want, I want it to be less than flush on this outside edge so that when it clamps in the vise, it doesn't catch. There I am through that first section. Switch my blade out, my bit. So we're going to start the screw in here. I'm going to clamp it in the vise just to make sure nothing twists on me. this needs to twist because I've got to open this up to allow the blade to go in here and this is the simple bit I'm going to clamp it again because I open this up with a screwdriver just the end of a screwdriver so I'm going to file this out open it up slide it into position no nope, I'm going to have to go back Got it on the wrong side So I'm going, to have to, I'm going to slide this into position here. It's going to stick past this surface by about a millimetre, that's all. Let go. Like that. And then turn this. This locks this bottom part here and stops it from sliding so that when we put it in the vise, this stays level. Lock this in the vise and it'll cinch up on the blade. Leave it just above the bench top, about a quarter of an inch. 
cinch it nice and tight and now we're ready to file. So we're going to use this as a registration face and we just file through file from here like this until we've got that bevel where we want it. Like that. And then we're going to draw file it. So that was through filing. That doesn't give us the smoothness that we want. It doesn't give us a continuous spiral on the shaving. So now we draw file this by pushing this like this. And that takes off long spirals of steel. There's one. I'll draw it up so you can see. This is a long spiral. It's like a continuous shaving like we would get in wood if we canted the plane to one side. So we get the same effect with this. And then we're ready to hone this bevel. So we just take a, a paddle. Now you could use abrasive paper, a very fine abrasive paper on a block of wood, but I'm just using diamonds. And I just polish this now. So I'm honing this to 1200 grit. That's giving me the polished edge that I want. And that's basically the work of getting the bevel done. So it's nice and smooth. Now it will be a sharp edge now, but it's got a burr on the other side. So now we're going to take this, uh, take it out of the holder and we're going to just polish up the face, the big flat face, to remove the burr on the diamond plates. And then we're going to turn the edge and we'll show you how it works. So now I'm ready to just buff out, polish that burr off the other side. I've got a burr on this side. I can feel it. You can't feel it. So I polish this out just a little bit because this face is already polished anyway. So now I don't have the burr here, but the burr is on that edge. So I've got to just wipe this and the burr will be removed when I burnish the edge so let's go to that now and uh, you'll see how this works so this goes in the vise I'm going to put it this way it's not always easy to uh, burnish this you either wet this on with spit from your tongue or you wipe it on your oil here and then you press this onto the plate on that same bevel, the 45 degrees, so you're following the same angle and you keep buffing this edge out, the, the polished edge. This is actually refining that edge even more than your 1200 grit will because it's consolidating itself in, into itself. And then I start to lower my hand this way. So I'm going to start, I'm at 45, I'm going to lower, lower, lower with each stroke. So here. And now I'm starting to turn the edge and I can actually see that edge turning. So now I've got a burr on here. So we load this into here. This is how I set my scrapers. Drop this in to here. You hear it click down on there. Squeeze this back plate and then cinch these little knurled nuts up while you have it squeezed like this. You can tighten it if you want to. Usually it's not necessarily, it's not necessary to go beyond finger tight. And I just push this on the surface here and it's just kissing the surface. So now I tighten this knurled nut, this uh, wing nut right against the back plate and just a little extra. Let's see how we did. Let's see if we can get some shavings. Now I'm shaving here. This is mesquite which is just about twice as hard as oak, not quite twice as hard as oak. So let's see what we get. So we are getting, saving, a little bit extra on here. And this is glass smooth now. This is absolutely glass smooth. And that's how I would recommend that you sharpen your number 80 scraper. It'll stay with you forever now. That smell of mesquite is wonderful. 